as y'all can see, COVID-19, coronavirus, cabin fever, it's kicking in. So let me just say something. I need to cook. What should I cook? Hmm. How about oxtails? And this time, we ain't going to do no regular boiled oxtails. Let's put a twist on it. Let's do it. Your face. Crime Boss Kitchen. Pull up. Pull up. Told my family pull up Let's get into these oxtails Go ahead, hit the subscribe button Click the bell to receive all notifications for all new videos And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up now that the oxtails have been cut, washed, and packed dry, let's get into these oxtails! First, we're gonna taste some salt. Not too much, just a little bit to bring out the flavor. We'll finish seasoning when we make the sauce. Then we're gonna taste some black pepper. Make sure we get that in there. There we go. Next, I take some paprika. Sprinkle that on there for color. Then next I take some Lowry's seasoned salt. I mean, it don't have to be Lowry's, but that's what I got. So I'm using Lowry's seasoned salt. Shout out to Lowry. They need to pay me for this. It's a sponsorship. Then I take some um, garlic powder and I just sprinkle it on there. Get it all on there. Make sure everything's covered. Cause you want to season the oxtail. I mean, you want to get feel flavor on them, so you have a lot of flavor and everything just bursts with flavor. So now I'm gonna take some flour. I'm gonna sprinkle this on here. This gonna help with the browning and also gonna help with the thickening of the gravy later. So now you want to get in there. We want to mix every one of these up. We want to make sure every oxtail is coated with flour and the seasoning is all through there. So once you do that, make sure you get a hot skillet. We're going to place the oxtails in the skillet so we can begin the browning phase, searing it in, that searing all the good flavor and let all the juices just go wild in the inside. So we're gonna put them in the skillet, make sure we get enough room. It's a cast iron skillet. Put some in here. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna let them sit for a minute. Once we get them all in, then we're gonna brown them. And then you're gonna see, we're gonna start to flip them. Okay, there we go, there we go. There's, just let it sit, let it brown. Okay, we're gonna tape right here, we're gonna flip. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Flip that one. Yeah. What you want to do now, you want to get you a pan or the baking vessel that you're going to bake it in. Because I told you we're going to put a twist in it. We're not boiling them. We're going to braise these oxtails. Braise oxtails! So you want to place them in your baking vessel. Now we're going to start to build flavor. Now we're going to get into the Miracroix. So we're going to take some celery, already chopped, toss that in there. Well, I said Miracroix, I like to go with Holy Trinity and the Miracroix. So we're going to take some red, some green, some yellow, orange bell peppers, cut those up. Along with these baby carrots, I just use baby carrots because they are already small enough so I don't have to be in cutting or anything. Throw those all in there. Get, look at that. That's pretty. That's a good color. Now we got to get to the acidity of the dish. So we're going to take some crushed tomatoes, some wine. I prefer red wine, but whatever wine you have on hand, we're going to get that all pushed in there. There we go. 
There we go. Now, we're going to take some beef stock. We're going to pour it in, but we're going to fill the vessel up halfway. So it's half covering the meat and half not. Then we're going to wrap with foil, and we're going to place it in the oven for about four hours. Four to six hours, depending on the thickness of the oxtail, so we can make sure that they get nice and tender. So I see you guys in four hours. Now that the oxtails are out the oven, I strain the broth and use this ladle to strain off all the fat and all the impurities. So we got a nice velvety sauce right here that we're gonna thicken up. But first I take some browning because I like to make sure that my oxtail sauce is a little darker than a regular gravy. So I pour that in there, make sure I get the right color because I want a thick brown color. And I'm gonna add my roux. That's the thicken up the sauce. Now I want to make sure that this sauce is thicker than normal. So when I pour it on the oxtail, it'll keep the thick consistency. So now I'm going to add a little bit more root to this so that I can make sure it's thick. Yeah, that should, that should thicken up real nice. So after I do that, I let it cook down for a minute or two. Then I take and I pour it on the oxtails. Look at that. There you have it. You can either throw it back in the oven and let it cook for another 30 minutes to an hour. Or if it's tender enough, they're ready to serve. There you have it. Oxtails. All right, guys. That's it. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram, it's Grindhouse underscore Kitchen, on YouTube, it's Grindhouse Kitchen, and on Facebook, it's Grindhouse Kitchen. Hey, and don't forget, pull up, and I bet I feed your face.